The process of writing an essay or thesis of any kind is initiated by choosing an interesting topic. Suggestions may appear when you read theses made by previous students, the course literature or other literature within the area. Your chosen topic should interest you, of course. It should be relevant and objective, and it should be of interest for science as well as society. When you know more about what your topic is, it's also easier to find relevant terms to include in your searches. Which words stand for the essence of your thesis? Brainstorm with your friends and teachers. So limit and define your topic area and pick out the most important words, the key concepts. The choice of words affects your search result. In most search tools you'll only get hits on the exact word or words you, just, you searched for. Therefore you need to embrace your topic before you start searching. Prepare carefully. It will help you in the end. What synonyms are there? Is it in singular, plural form? Consider possibilities and variations in spelling, etc. So use encyclopedia and handbooks for definitions and facts. And you're going to find a lot of subject terms in the library search, articles you've found, and in databases. Databases use subject terms or subject headings. And those who arrange the material in the database also add subject terms to the reference in order to describe what, for example, an article is all about. Sometimes the author adds keywords. Thesaurus exists in most databases and it's arranged alphabetically and in hierarchies, in narrower or broader terms. Test your words. Try them out in the library search, Libris or a subject database to find the correct termino terminology. And there are some tips how to work with the words. First of all we have the, the table. You work with uh, your research question and uh, you use a table to organize your terms. It gives you a real good overview of words you can use. Or you can work with mind map the same way. You have your research question, you pick out the most important words and you break them down. You find related terms, synonyms and different forms. You're going to find your own way to work the best with the subject terms, but don't forget about this. And you get more help at the library. Don't hesitate to contact us if you run into some trouble. So thank you for listening. We'll meet you again soon.